Another knife, another thing that comes standard with the ultra cutter is as well. You can imagine, 57 knives takes more power. Yeah, yeah. Because your shopping is. We go to the other side. We have now integrated a hydraulic clutch. So that's this act. That's this, this unit on this side, right? That's this. So this is the rotor drive. So that's a hydraulic clutch. That is just for the rotor. That's for the rotor. Yeah, that's for, right. the, whole, for the whole intake section, you could say. Yeah. yeah. But oh, so that, that's doing pickup as well, is it? Go, yeah, that's right. how everything is in, in, in there, yeah. Yeah. And what it does is that normally you have a torque disconnect. We On the on the regular one, we have a torque disconnect clutch. Yeah. And then you always have to run a little bit on feeling, you know. Am I ri driving on maximum hmm. capacity, maximum pressure, yes or no? But a torque disconnect does a job, but when it goes, it goes. Yeah. With a hydraulic clutch, you know, you can... With, with hydraulic uh, pressure, you can steer it. And what we do there is on the inside here, we have a torque measure on the right. shaft. So we actually know what the machine is doing. Are we running on the edge, yes or no? Because from the torque measuring device, we're getting instant feedback on the monitor. Yeah. So it shows you are ah, you- So you can really watch what's happening. Correct. Really right. maximizing your capacity. And the advantage is you're driving, and if you then have a lump in your swath, which normally the torque disconnect would maybe go. Mm. And this can, in this case, actually, the slip clutch will, the, the, the hydraulic clutch will just slip a little bit, but still will try to force it through. All right, so if you just back off a bit and just let this thing do its thing and just take it in, yeah. back on it again. Correct, correct. Right. In a system like this, could you tie it into TIM? You know, because it's got sensors on here, could this be telling the track to what speed to go? Correct, that's exactly, because you know we have Baylor automation. Yeah. So Baylor Automation already reads the swath, the swath density and everything yeah. in front of the tractor. So it's looking in front of the tractor. Yeah, right. So and this is another. It's not. It's it's coming. That's the I, that's the next step in yeah. that as well. That 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 is another tool to actually tell the tractor what speed to run. Right. The nice thing about the hydraulic clutches as well is that if you have a blockage, normally a torque disconnect is set at a certain torque. Mm. Now, you know, if you have a blockage now you can actually, the, the system does it automatically. For a brief second, it actually increases the pressure, so it increases the torque All to right. force the, the yeah. plug through to, uh, yeah, to get going again. Yeah. And can you adjust that force at all? For, for example, if I had a big tractor on the front of this, could you up the force required to? We have set it already from in the system-wise right. some maximum capacity, <laughs> so it's set that you know we can put four yeah. five hundred horsepower in front of it. So all right, right. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. all right then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and you just drive to its limits. Basically. Correct, and it gives you that feedback on the monitor to show you exactly. Okay, are you where are you at at the limit? <laughs>